Ever wonder how Metrolink operates when an earthquake strikes? We use a proprietary interface between the U.S. Geological Survey Shake Alert system and our own PTC system that safely slows down or automatically stops trains when there's an earthquake. So th this, these dots are all the sensors um, that USGS has installed throughout the state. And each of these sensors measures the MMI, the shaking intensity at that specific point. So in a real earthquake, some lines may require speed reduction, while others may not because the shaking intensity is different. Our system is set up so that we've established no stop zones. So the instruction in the event of a severe earthquake is for you to come to a stop outside of a, outside of a bridge or an underpass or an, or an overpass. So what we don't want to do is have our system command trains to stop in an unsafe scenario. So what we've done is we've identified all those no stop zones, like bridges, overpasses, tunnels, and we are monitoring those so that if you have a train that is in a tunnel, we don't command it to stop right at that point. We wait till it comes out of that point and then we stop it. Metrolink and Shake Alert, working together to keep you safe every time you ride.